What's up you guys? Avery here bringing you a brand new video today and as you can probably tell by my voice I'm not in the best of conditions. I've come down with some sort of sore throat or maybe I just deep throated a cactus. I don't really know. Um, but I wanted to still put out a video for you guys so that I can kind of take the next couple of days off to kind of recoup and uh, kind of get my voice back for you guys so I can get back to making content. But I did want to put up this video for y'all because this is a deck profile I wanted to do for a while and I just never got around to it. I got it from YGO Pro OTKs. So shout out to him if you haven't heard of him already. He puts up a lot of hilarious videos and this build he actually posted before lawn mowing was in the TCG. So yeah, it's and it's still pretty good and pretty fun even uh to now. Um, even though it is like a couple months old. But regardless, I still wanted to cover it and do a deck profile on it and uh again I just want to let you know that uh, after I post this video today, I'm probably just going to take the next couple of days off so I can kind of recoup and, you know, get back to, you know, full strength. <laughs> so without any further ado, let's get into it. It's called Giga Ray OTK. And it's because of Giga Ray's the Dragon, Gandor Giga Ray's the Dragon of Destruction. So he can't be normal summoned or, or set. He can only be special summoned from your hand by sending two other monsters from your hand and or field to the graveyard, which is really easy to achieve in this deck. And then he gains 300 attack for each banished card. And then once per turn, you can pay half your life points. Apply this effect depending on the number of Gandoral monsters with different names in your graveyard. So if you have one, you destroy all other cards on the field. Two, banish all other cards on the field. Three or more, banish all other cards on the field and in the graveyard. So if you have a Gandora X, a Gandora, and a Giga Rays in your graveyard, and you drop a Giga Rays, you can use this effect to pay half your life to banish all other cards on the field and in the graveyards. And then he just becomes huge, like 15,000 plus attack. Then we've got two of the regular Gandora, two of the Gandora X. We got two Wolf, three Fairy Tale Snow, three Raiden, two Trick Clown, three Wyvern, two Necroface, uh, two Felice, Electromagnetic Turtle, Mathematician, three uh, Lumina, uh, two Minerva, two Iza, two Red Resonator, three uh, Eater of Millions. And then for the spells, we got three Solar Recharge, three Lawn Mowing, uh, two Gate of the Magical Contract, or Magical Contract, or whichever, three Desires, one Gold Sark, one Foolish Burial, three Left Arm Offering. Two Charge, two Twin Twister, and two Breakthrough Skill. For the extra deck, we have Omega, uh, Michael, Black Rose, Coral Dragon, uh, Horse Prince, Lightning, uh, Trapeze Magician, Utopia, Castell, two Exalted Light Sworn Minerva, one Sukiyomi, one Emerald, one Levier, and one Dante. The side deck is just kind of irrelevant. So, yeah, the whole point of this deck is to. Go lawn mowing first turn, dump all your shit in the grave, get off your necro faces, and then on the next turn when you can attack, drop a Giga Rays as quick as you can. It's a lot of fun, very easy to pick up and learn and play. Um, definitely try it out on Dev Pro, preferably in unranked, because I need to play test for my regional and I don't want to go against this in ranked and then just kind of cry. <laughs> um, but yeah, I wanted to cover this for you guys just because, you know, again, it is a fun deck. It is very consistent. It's very competitive. Don't think that this is just some, you know, random jank garbage OTK deck. It's very, very good. Even just using the Light Sworn engine itself makes the deck very good because, you know, let's say you don't open up lawn mowing. You know, you can just use your Light Sworn engine to kind of get stuff rolling or, you know, set like, say, Necroface and then, you know, get it to go to the graveyard or, you know, just, just anything that you need to do to kind of get your plays going or use Gold Sark to remove the Necroface to banish the top five. It's it's very good. It can also mill your opponent out again because with Necroface. So, but let me know what you guys think about this deck in the comments below. Sorry about the short video. I really want to get this deck profile out for you guys. Um, and I will be back in a couple days once I've been fully recuperated because right now I just need to save my voice. So, thank you guys for watching as always and subscribe if you have not already.